Okay, welcome to lesson five, conditionals, in our little introduction to Python course here. Um, so conditionals are a way of comparing values uh, in coding. So basically it's we ask it a question and it tells us uh, yes or no or if, if this is the way it's done. So for example, if I can say does three equal three, now this is just a print statement, I'm not actually processing anything. Uh, so if I hit run, it just says does 3 equal 3. And so this is something called the if statement. So I type if, and so I said 3, and watch this, equals 3, colon, and enter. Notice how it is indented. Okay. Uh, now in Repl it, it's it's a tab uh, basically hit the tab, and that's usually what I do, but actually it's, you're supposed to use spaces, but I like tabs, so I use tabs anyway. Uh, the important thing is, like, if you use tabs, you got to use tabs the whole way through. If you use spaces, you got to use spaces the whole way through. So if 3 equals 3, I'm going to print true. Now notice the true is a capital T, R-U-E, and there are no quotation marks. Okay, this is a very special type of variable called a boolean, uh, which I'll probably talk about later. Uh, but a boolean just has two different values, true or false. It uh, never has any other value. So if I run it, does 3 equal 3? Yes, the answer is yes, so we print true. Notice again, two equal signs. Now, previously when we said something like x equals 6 or uh, i equals 20, um, there was one equal sign. Okay, so one equal sign means you are assigning a value. Two equal signs means you are comparing the values to see if they are equal. Okay, so let's try this one. So we'll say x equals 3. If you remember from previous lesson, uh, these are integers because there is no uh, uh, decimal point, sorry. Um, so I'm going to say print. So is greater than Okay, quotation mark, and I'm going to use format x comma y. Now notice here I'm using two different variables because I've got one set of brackets, or sorry, one set of braces and a second set of braces. So the x is going to go here, the y is going to go there. And so if x is greater than y, colon, notice it's indented. Indenting is super duper important in Python. Uh, if you don't indent correctly, your programs uh, will not work. So I'm going to print and true. And now we have this other thing called else. So if something is not true, it must be, drum roll, okay, false. Okay, so those are the only two values a Boolean can have. So let's run that. Okay, so is does 3 equal 3? True. Is 3 greater than 2? True. Okay. Now, uh, let's try it again. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm kind of lazy, so I'm going to copy this. I'll see if it'll let me copy that. Command. I, actually, I haven't actually tried it on this uh, control C. Yes, it does. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the values. I'm going to say x now equals 2 and y equals 3. Oops keep using my Japanese keyboard. So if x equals 2, and now y equals 3. So is x greater than y? So is 2 greater than 3? And what the heck is that? I'm going to hit run, and you'll see now it says false. Actually, let me just copy that to make it consistent. OK, and run it one more time. So is 3 greater than 2? True. Is 2 greater than 3? False. Okay, so we can compare volumes. We also have greater than or equal to. Um, I could have done this. Greater than or equal to, or less than. Oh, we said we're just using greater than. We also have less than and less than and equal to. There's, there's a couple different other ones. We also have not equal as well. Um, so that was comparing integers. Now we can also compare strings. So let's say you were playing uh, rock, paper, scissors, and I can hit, I can say, okay, player A, their choice was rock, okay, which is always a solid strategy, and player B, their choice was scissors. 
Okay, so what we can do is we can calculate or the different probabilities. Okay, so I say if player A equals two equals rock. Okay, or player B equals rock. Oops, quotation marks. Then what I can say here is print. Hey, someone chose rock. Not very helpful to our game calculation, but you get the idea. So let's check see if that works. Okay, so someone chose rock. We don't know who it was because we said player A or player B. Now notice it's a full statement here, comparison. Player A equals rock or player B equals rock. We cannot do this, although beginners do it all, try to do it all the time. If we do that, uh, Okay. It worked here in this case, but the problem is that it just it's very unreliable. Um, so please do not do that. Okay. Now what we can do here, which that wasn't really the most important thing for us to check, so I can say if player A equals rock and player oops, I don't want that quotes because it's a variable, player B equals scissors oops I forgot my colon I can print you know, player A wins let's scroll down here a little bit um, let's test it okay player A wins now what I can do as I had up here with the else statement okay so I can say well, if I do else, so you have win. In this case, you've got three choices. You have win, lose, or draw. So that's where something called L if comes in. Okay, so I can say L if player A equals rock and player B equals paper. In that case, I would print player B wins. And now, if it's not those two options, we only got three. We got player A wins, player B wins. I can just say else, print. Well, then it must be a tie. Tie. That's the only other option left. So this structure you'll see quite often. If, L if, and else. So let's run that. Make sure it's working. Okay, player A wins. So let's change this to paper and run it. Player B wins. And let's change this to rock. And we'll run it one more time, and it tells us that we had a tie. So again, uh, there's all kinds of different ways we can compare things. We have greater than. Um, don't forget with equals, it's two equal signs. Um, there is also something called not equal, which we didn't really practice, but it is there. And uh, so this is something that you know you'll you should practice a lot more uh, as you learn more about Python. Okay, that's that.